You're coming up on your 11th anniversary. Is That's that correct. Is that 11th or 12th? 12th or 11th? 11th. Yeah. 11th. All right. How has this show, in your mind, changed since you started 11 years ago? Um, well, it's probably less of a talk show and more of a comedy show. We do a little longer monologue, and then you have a first piece of comedy, and then you have the main piece mm -hmm. of comedy. Uh, sometimes in the old days, we do four guests. Mm -hmm. Now we do two, sometimes three. So uh, there's probably less emphasis on, on, on guests and more on comedy. Although, of course, guests are still hugely important, but it's less a talk show, maybe a little bit more of a comedy show, kind of half and half. You still not taking vacations very much and all that? Well, no, I, my life, you know, we do these jobs. Your life's a vacation. Show mm -hmm. business is pretty easy, so you can't be complaining about, you know, when you make this kind of dough, you can't go, I want more time off. <laughs> yeah. I read, what's my quote from Jay Leno? Mm -hmm. Ambition wins over genius 99% of the time. Well, I guess I'm living proof of that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that quote. I just hadn't heard that well, one Well, I, I think it's you. true. I, I think that's sort of, uh, you know, uh, I, I come from those sort of depression era parents and if you work hard you can pretty much accomplish what you want and that's pretty much it everything I had I, I don't think I got because I was better than anybody else I just think I was willing to put a little more effort in you know and I, uh, comics and I'm one tend to be inherently kind of lazy and but if you keep working on it and working on it and working on it you know uh, you, you get ahead I mean I knew guys that just would work one or two days a week when I was a kid I would always try to work seven days a week, two shows mm -hmm. a day sometimes, trying to get better and better. And it's just like working out with weights or practicing baseball. E the more you play, the better you get. How many years did it take before you really felt like, you know, this was really your show now? Oh, probably last Thursday. <laughs> last Thursday. That's a good, last Thursday. You know, good. you don't really think the Tonight Show is ever yours. The Tonight Show, you kind of just not, don't screw it up for the next guy. You know, this is pretty much an institution here at NBC, mm -hmm. so you, you want to keep it going. So when you hand it off to the next guy, whew, I didn't screw it up. Here you go. It, it, you know, it's like when you, your parents, when you stay with people, just leave the house as good as it was when you got there. Was there a point, though, that you felt like the new guy for a couple of years, or was it a year? Oh, for a long time. Well, you know, it was only like uh, maybe two years ago. I was driving in my car, and uh, they're doing one of these trivial pursuit things on the radio. And this guy comes on. Hey, here's a question for you. Who's the second longest running host of The Tonight Show after Johnny Carson? And I went, oh. Um, well, that would be, uh, and then a caller called in, Jay Leno, I went, oh, that's right, it was me. I guess it is me. So it wasn't until I actually heard that I went, oh, well, that's true, Steve Allen only did it two and a half years. Part and then Parr did it four years. So mm -hmm. I went, oh, I, oh, I guess that would be me. Well, that's pretty good. But it's amazing. You have 25 years of history on this show, though, from 77. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's about right. I mean, you've seen years. more of The Tonight Show than anybody has, I guess, uh, yeah, Carson. Yeah. Yes, yes, been here through a few you're years. An old, you're an old guy that's now. That's right. That's right. Uh, with this job comes some interesting perks that Jay Leno, the comedian, probably would have not have gotten. Mm -hmm. uh, what's been the, one of some of the coolest things you've gotten to do because you're the Tonight Show host? Well, I've been to the White House a bunch of times mm -hmm. and had dinner with the various presidents, so That's good. normally you don't get that, you know, when I was washing cars at Foreign Motors. <laughs> I think I'd go, uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm, I like politics, so that always amazes me. Just, just the odd sort of things that happen when you do this. You know, one day I'm in Washington, I'm just walking down the street, and I hear, Psst, Chileno, Chileno. And it's like this Middle Eastern guy. Salman Rushdie wishes to talk to you. Call him. And he, I get, what? Salman Rushdie. All right, so, oh, I'm like an idiot. So, well, let me get a phone. I call Salman. Yeah, he's not here. You must call again at 6 o'clock. <laughs> call this number. All right. And it was Salman Rushdie. That's when that whole thing was going. And he wanted, <laughs> he wanted to be on the show. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, Dad, you just, just odd things. Just odd things like that happen. Well, know? I thought maybe you'd say Daytona was pretty cool, too. Oh, well, well Dana, and, Daytona and was very cool. Too. Yeah, yeah, Indianapolis. Oh, you sure. Look, well, you're having a great time Well, I get to drive the, the pace car and Daytona yeah. drive at, you know, 155 going around the banking there. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Well, that's true. I, I was talking strictly. More sophisticated, business, but I was thinking yeah. more J stuff than you. Yeah, well, the car stuff. Yeah, you get to do really cool <laughs> car stuff, car motorcycle stuff. That's true.